Faith, Faith, what are you doing? Storm's coming. Everybody gets bread when the storm comes. We don't need that much bread. <sighs> what are you doing? Getting milk. Storm's coming. We don't, we don't drink milk. Oh, mandatory evacuation by noon Tuesday. So this includes your equipment, your unit, and all equipment. Wait a minute, I just sent an update. Prepare for a mandatory evacuation at this time. We will send updates as soon as we get them. So prepare for evacuation. All right, we're currently on a military base and a family campground. Well, they just sent an update or text out uh, on the status of the storm and what we're supposed to be doing, but we didn't get it. So luckily, we have a friend or two here that uh, did get the text. That's where the text came from to let us know the status of what they want us to do. And uh, so... Make sure you are in contact with the office and they have your information if you know a storm's coming so you know what to do and what they're requiring you to do. So right now, uh, luckily we're getting the updates now that we have somebody that knows we can't get them. So you need to know what the property owner or the base or Corps of Engineer, wherever you're at, what they expect for you to do during a storm. I'm going to jump in a Jeep. I'm going to run around and find a camp host and make sure they have my information so they can keep us updated on what they want us to do for the hurricane. Okay, here's the latest text. Fam campers, patrons are expected to evacuate by 12 on Tuesday, 6 July. So it looks like we gotta be out of here tomorrow, but it doesn't say anything about the units. And then it says, um, it says if it's upgraded to a hurricane, patrons may at their own risk, leave their RVs and or vehicles in the park during the storm. However, all personnel, equipment, items must be secured. No exceptions. If needed, they are authorized to park RVs and or vehicles in the base exchange parking lot for the duration of the storm. So there you go. That's our backup plan right there. As we roll out and we'll park the VX. And you've already cleaned everything up outside. I've got everything except uh, unhook the water and stuff. I'm going to do that tomorrow. Did you flip the table over? Not yet. I noticed earlier the FAM camp employees were coming around to all the empty sites. Yeah, the FAM camp is uh, flipping all the picnic tables upside down to make sure they don't they don't uh, get some wind under them and uh, flop around. So and hit our RV. That's... And hit everybody's RV. So as of right now, uh, if it looks like it's going to be a hurricane, we will actually leave our move ours anyway. So we're not going to leave it here for debris to hit it. We're parked right next to a tree, and I don't think it'll go anywhere. It's been here a long time, but uh, I don't want to. It to be the first time it goes down and get our rigs up. The extra, the extra good news for us is that our daughter lives um, just a couple miles from here, so we'll be able to uh, hunker down at her place until the big stuff blows over. Then we'll come back out to a fully intact RV, I hope. I'm sure we haven't told you about our inside leak. So the only thing I'm concerned about, one of the things I am concerned about with this storm coming through is twice, once even after we went to Red Bay and had it fixed, have we had water coming in through the slide over the microwave. So basically right there, pouring down to our cabinet. So my concern with extra heavy rains is more rain inside. However, Peyton did rig a little fix and we've had a couple typical Florida rains and it hasn't rained inside. So thumbs up that there's no water inside the RV when we come back after we have to leave it for the evacuation. Storm prep. Storm prep. Storm's here. Yeah. That looks like a good watermelon. Very good. Salsa's up next. Yeah. Because we really don't buy all that bread and milk. Nope. We don't even drink milk.
morning we'll get up and close it all up and move it um, over to the over to the commissary. by noon tomorrow. So a lot of people did pack up and roll out already, but there's a good, I don't know, 50 RVs still here, so we'll see. We're probably going to start packing up and rolling out by nine. Um, just going to park it over at a big old parking lot, more inland. So, um, they just want us off the water, and this um, this fam camp sits right on this beautiful water. Wonder how high this will come up. It's beautiful out here when it's calm um, before the storm and I guess that's where that saying um, the calm before the storm because it really is it's beautiful so anyway pray and safety for everybody um, don't want anyone to lose anything so anyway we'll get back to you let you know how we fared out See you tomorrow, Elsa. Have you seen anybody from the Weather Channel here? I have not. So we're good. We're good. As long as, what's his name? But Jim Tory? a couple years ago, I did a video, like Jim Cantori, I think that's how you say his name. And I say I was pretty good. I, I was pretty good. So yeah, if you don't want to... And so maybe they're just expecting me to do it since they know I'm here. Um, I feel like you're battling the mosquitoes right now. I just see them Man. on your hat. I see them everywhere. Ugh, let's go, let's go. The mosquitoes have woke up. From they the are head. so bad. The mosquitoes here are so bad. And when... they just got stirred up by the storm. So they already are bad and now they're extra, extra bad. Yeah, now the rain quit. So they are just kicking in high gear. Getting that last bit of blood sucking Ooh. before... Man. They get blown away from... Elsa. Elsa. Is it Elsa? Elsa. Queen Elsa. Queen Elsa. Ooh. Kicking up out there. So what's happening? What we hear is power to the park is going to be off at 8 a.m. So we are just getting everything packed up, put away to go park our RV in a parking lot. Closed up. So as the storm runs through, um, We'll be safe and sound at our daughter's, but our RV will be sitting in a parking lot with a bunch of other stuff, so fingers crossed. So one super great thing about this RV is we have a generator, so even though we're unplugging from power because they're going to shut it all off anyway, so he's out there unplugging everything, but we have a generator, so we're able to turn that on and still run an AC, so it's a big deal because it's hot and muggy in Florida and um, it's nice to be able to at least run one and also then I'm not quite sure how it all plays into our fridge but um, you know charging our batteries so our fridge food stays great um, even while we're unplugged. We do have Battleborn we switched out our four batteries for Battleborn batteries so it's a good it's a great thing to have a generator and Battleborns. Here's the RV family. This sweet lady has, uh, she stays at the RV park with us, uh, her two kids, she's active duty. Anyway, look, all the neighbors, Ken and Peyton and Todd are all out there helping her um, get hooked up. RV love right there. This is RV lifestyle, friendship and love.
clear skies. Clear skies right now. I guess the storm is still in Key West, so nothing happening here but getting our RVs to a safer place, I guess. Mostly because of the flooding, not because anything else. It's just the fam camp is a couple hundred feet off the base beach, so definitely don't want to be parked that close in case of storm surge. Comes our friend Ken. There goes Peyton. I think people are actually gonna probably stay in there. Some of those over there, those those right those right there are military owned, so nobody's in those. I just moved them over from the I think same with those two Jacos. Um, but a lot of other people are literally they've got slides out and they're gonna stay up in here, so we will not be staying in ours. I think our friend Ken is gonna stay in his, but uh, we're going to our daughter's house, so here, so you can see all this here, all these people, us included, we're back right behind that gray one. Anyway, here is the new, um, <laughs> the new fam camp, basically, at the commissary parking lot. So, everyone's hunkering down right there. Anyway, maybe you get the idea. Tractor and a boat ready to go. Oh, uh, <laughs> we've got it all buttoned up. We have got it moved. We're ready for Elsa and uh, hoping nothing happens, but at least we know we've done everything in our part to make sure our rig is, uh, our home is secure and ready for the storm. It's hot in here too. It is so hot. I said earlier that I was thankful we at least have a generator. If we do, if we did have to stay in here, if we didn't have families to go sit in, but um, yeah. yeah. And we do have Battleborn. So right now we know our Battleborns are gonna hold our fridge for, uh, we're hoping at least 24 hours, but I'm gonna come back in a little bit and check on it and uh, check the batteries and then just to make sure uh, if it needs to go 24 hours, we're good. So at least the food will be okay. But I think we're good. We're out. All right, well, we'll get back to you after the storm. just wanted to do a quick wrap up of our hurricane evacuation that we had down in Tampa. We have since left Tampa. We are mooch stocking off my dad in North Carolina. So happy for that. I did not get any footage of us moving the rig back in. Andrew and I had split efforts. She had to go do some things. And so I did it myself. So I, instead of focusing on video, I were more focused on getting the rig back safe and uh, take care of that business, get it hooked back up so we could keep living. Sorry about that, but kind of tell you how it all went down you saw in the video but the family campground in mcdeal said you had to leave by a certain time but you could leave your rv you didn't have to so we chose not to uh, just leave it sitting there because we had a lot of rains prior to the hurricane and i didn't know how the flooding would work and i didn't want to be caught off guard so i went ahead and moved the rv to the exchange parking lot which i've seen for years uh, people park there and it really is uh really a good place to park. One, the buildings blocked the wind, and two, uh, I haven't ever really seen it flood there. So I thought that was a good decision. And we chose not to stay in our RV, even though you could, and went and stayed at my daughter's, and just spend time with them, and you know, why stay there if we didn't have to. But one thing in preparation, I think you should always remember. One, watch the storm carefully, obviously, get with the campground or family campground or a Corps of Engineers to make sure you know how to get updates and who's going to keep you updated on what their requirements are and also any storm shelters make sure you know where the storm shelters are if you had to bug out and get to a place quickly in case of a, a tornado off a hurricane or anything like that so make sure you know how to do that secondly make sure you have plenty of fuel if you do have to drive off make sure you're set getting Getting fuel at the last minute is the last thing you need to be worried about when it's pouring rain, wind, storm, lightning, everything else. We joked about uh, the bread and milk. We didn't buy all that bread or milk, uh, but it is kind of funny how the bread and milk always gets cleared out uh, during, a, uh, during a storm. But we did get some uh, food to make sure we were good on food. And the last thing I did 
uh, the day prior is I went ahead and dumped my black tank and got that reset and I emptied my gray tank and I put about I put probably about half full of fresh water just in case we needed some water and things went down or power or anything like that would be set for a, for at least a few days so I thought we were pretty prepared uh, if that come down to it and luckily we didn't need it so always keep those things in mind your safety is your responsibility not someone else's you need to make the decision based off of what your knowledge is based off what they're telling you and how concerned are you I've lived in Florida for about nine years off and on with different assignments so I felt, felt pretty comfortable with the information that I had and I knew Andrew, Andrew and I were pretty safe. And plus I was watching after uh, make sure my granddaughter and my daughter were safe as well. So if you don't feel comfortable, leave. It's just that simple. If you don't have time to get your RV prepped and get out of there, then get in your tow vehicle and leave your RV. Trust me, uh, your safety is more important than your RV safety. And so just make sure you get out and do what you feel comfortable with. Again, we appreciate you watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please hit that subscribe button and uh, make sure you can get our uh, latest videos. And we appreciate you watching. Give us a thumbs up or thumbs down and uh, leave us any comments. We really appreciate it. And we really appreciate you coming on this journey with us. And until next time, seatbelts on.